Today I'm going to replace the plastic handles on my kettle with ones that I carved out of a piece of walnut. So I really like my Hario kettle, but I wanted to replace the handles. I had some scraps of walnut lying around, and I decided to carve it using just my cordless drill. To carve with a drill, I used three different tools. A brad point drill bit, a rotary drum sander, and a carving burr. I traced the outline of the original handle onto the wood, and then drilled a bunch of holes around the outline. The reason I use a brad point drill bit is because it has a sharper point so it doesn't slip as much when you drill holes right next to each other. Once I had cut out the rough outline with the drill bit, I was ready to carve down the handle with the carving burr. Once I got the shape roughly right with the carving burr, I switched to the drum sander so that I could smooth and round the edges of the handle. A few more holes was all it took to separate the handle from the rest of the piece of wood. I used a knife to scrape away a few of the excess pieces that were left over between the holes. I sanded down the handle with 120 grit paper first before switching to 320 to finish it off. I then added a coat of Danish oil. To remove the old handle, I just drilled a bunch of holes through the plastic. And then used wire cutters to clip away at the pieces of plastic in between the holes. I then marked locations to drill two holes into the handle. I put a piece of tape on my drill bit to make sure that I wouldn't drill too deep into the handle. The handle fits on nice and tight, but I might add some epoxy at a later date as it loosens up. I didn't like the shape of the original top handle, so I drew a new one and then cut it out the same way. Detailed instructions, check out my website and be sure to follow me on social media.